Hey guys, welcome back, and uh, there's some footage. If you're on the video, of course, uh, for IWC's last show, Friday Night Fights, over at SorgatronMedia.com slash store. You can also get it over there on IWCWrestling.com as well. Uh, so this is going to be, you know what, we said, let's just throw the rules out the window. This is going to be free-for-all, and somebody just jumped in like right at the last minute, too. So... We're going to see how this goes. This is your fault, Sorg. It's time for Remember When, and this one's going to take a little bit longer. <laughs> That's what she said. Remember when, and you're going to remember when, we're going to look at all the faces then, because it's time for Remember When. The audio listeners don't know what's happening, but it's okay because this is a regular thing. Uh, on the show, on Mayhem Show, with Remember When. <laughs> sorry, was, and that's, sorry, <laughs> there's a lot to do. There is a lot to do there. Uh, we Why does have, Russell Fan look like LB's big boy, though? Well, first of all, we need, we need to ca- talk about, we, we, we opened up, we, we decided to open the Hangouts early. Uh, we have... We have Bobby. We have uh, we have Bobby. We have Wheels. We have Riz and uh, Mad Mike. Of course, is still with us, and maybe some other people jumping in. Hi, everybody. Somebody jumped in for a minute there, but Yo, I think she got scared and ran away. Hi, um, lunch, hi, lunchbox. Uh, she did not. And maybe she's going to go get her shotgun that I saw her with the other How night. How you doing? Uh, so, so the, the, tonight's I'm, question. I'm pretty good. Is somebody watching a television? I'm a, everybody's potentially, watching television. potentially. <laughs> Oh, well, my mic wasn't up in the air. I just wanted to check. I heard "Murder She Wrote" in the background, and I got very excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that Angela Lansbury, damn. Mm-hmm. See the mm-hmm. finance yeah. woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, Angela so, Lansbury now before. or 1974? <laughs> so this week, oh my god, yes. this, is a, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> the answer is this yes. This is such a bad idea. Uh, today's <laughs> remember one is going to try to be, um, and I don't know which one of you guys put this in here. Um, the, long- the long and winding road that leads to the ring, folks. We have new tag team champions, and it is the Rhodes Brothers. Let's oh, celebrate! Okay, like I'm yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so the easy thing is, so so the thing is, what is your Rhodes memory? So we're talking any of the three, right? Yeah, any of them. Awesome. Um, so uh, LB, you're the one to put this in here. Uh, why don't you go first then? Well. Two things. Number one, um, I have a fond memory of Cody Rhodes in uh, in um, God, what did he call it? Uh, the in, in the stable with uh, Ted DiBiase and Randy. Legacy. What was that Legacy. called? The Legacy. Legacy. Yeah, Legacy. 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 Yes, because. Um, uh, especially there towards the end, they were really becoming very cohesive as a unit. And I remember specifically Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase um, doing mannerisms like facial expressions and moves, just like Randy Orton. And they pulled it off very, very well. I think that was a, that was a very high point in Cody Rhodes' career. Low point being teaming with uh, Bob Holly. Mm. Um, the other <laughs> memory I have is. Um, so I, I remember I didn't actually see the match. Or it was just something that I had read about. Um, Dusty Rhodes, someone had said no blood on TV, and Dusty was like, okay. And then he went out and stabbed himself in the eye with Spike on television. Wow. So those are my memories of the Rhodes family, Sorg. I the standby. I, I know I've mentioned it here on the – you know what? I'll change it up. Usually I say the, uh, the, uh, the ground meat Americana bit, I believe, from Monday – from a main event, but I remember the Sapphire days. That's when I was into wrestling, guys. Uh, you remember Sweet Sapphire? <laughs> Good old Sapphire. And she was in a match. I, I think they legitimately found this lady in the crowd. I don't know the story on Sapphire. Um, uh, I, what? Uh, uh, the indie fans know Sweet Sapphire as somebody else, or oh, I believe I believe Sweet Sapphire was. Uh, Eamon, you probably... You I, I probably, got it. I got it. No one else did, Riz. <laughs> Pigeon. Pigeon. I, I was actually going to talk about where they got Sweet Sapphire. Where did they get Sweet Sapphire? Um, she was she was backstage at one of the shows, uh-huh. and they just needed someone to fill in. Yeah. But 
the crowd that ended up popping so big for it. It was very much a Ralph situation. <laughs> awesome. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not lying about this. It was very much a Ralph thing. Wow, that's awesome. But no, I remember, what was it? I think it was a WrestleMania match where it was like uh, him and Sapphire against uh, uh, Sherry and Macho Man in yep. a mixed tag match. I want to say that was six. WrestleMania six. I believe uh, so, yeah. So, but that, that was always the greatest because it was Dusty Rose, the common man against the Macho King. You know, uh, it was always a, a really good storyline uh, uh, going into that. Um, so, what about you, Mad Mike? Ooh, my favorite Rhodes memory. Um, well, I think I have, I think I have one for each. Uh, for Cody, it was when he pulled the old switcheroo and signed with Ted DiBiase to screw over Hardcore Holly, because fuck Hardcore Holly. Um, for Goldust, it was Goldust and Booker T at the movies, because of course it was. And for Dusty Rhodes commentary on WWE Saturday night just made he, sense. he he got a bicycle it's a bicycle yes he got By a bicycle God, it's a bicycle yeah Riz what about you uh i forget what the match was called and i'm pretty sure i'm i'm mixing up something but i remember dusty Rhodes in one of the weirdest WCW matches was it he wasn't it him who was on the back of a truck yeah, yeah, I remember that. I don't want. I don't want to remember that. Road Wild, wasn't it? Yeah, I want to remember that, but I don't. No, want to it wasn't that. Road Wild. Oh, no, it wasn't Road Wild. I don't think they had that yet. Oh I my god, think... I found footage of it. Oh no. Mm-hmm. And it also, a, I believe it was an uncensored pay per view. And also, uh, Marlena. Just Marlena. <laughs> Just Marlena. She counts as a Rhodes. Oh wow! Marlena, this is actually Marlena this is actually posted on, on Saturday night. This is actually posted on WWE's YouTube. Yeah, that's amazing. That's how bad it was, everybody. Wow, they love showing let's just off have a, this kind of stuff. Let's just have a match on the back of a back of a truck, guys. What is he trying? To I remember out? watching that match on a scrambled pay per view feed. <laughs> Wow. Because I didn't want to actually buy the pay-per-view, but I was curious to see how they would do that match. Yeah. So I watched it like I watched Scramble Porn. What about you, Eamon? Uh, okay. Uh, the one that I can think of. Uh, yeah, Cody Rhodes has done some good stuff. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just realized that Blacktop Bully is freaking smashed from Demolition. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that? I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't know. He's had so many damn names. Like The last thing I remember him as is Repo Man. He so. doesn't like talking about Repo Man. Oh, wow. That was really Cole Caban- fun stuff. Cole Cabana said that in his podcast. Um, this Cole wanted to ask him about Repo Man, and he heard from a, a reliable source that he doesn't like talking about it. Aww. Repo Man was the best. Yeah. Sorry, Eamon. First I'm sorry. Of You're Repo so- Man. <laughs> keep getting interrupted. <laughs> That's okay. It's just um, like Monday night. But yeah, uh, uh, Cody Rhodes, I, uh, we mentioned it a bit before. I really did love the dashing Cody Rhodes stuff. I thought that was a really good change for him. And it was sort of that point where he hit that transformation after legacy where he started to become like a real contender. Yeah. Um, I, I think that was some of the best stuff he's done both that. And then the transformation to the darker uh, character was really, really great. Uh, Dustin Rhodes stuff. Uh, Early Gold Dust when I first started watching wrestling was really cool. Uh, I kind of did like the whole electrocution getting Tourette's thing because <laughs> it was sort of an example. Of, it, it, I found it at my age very hilarious, and it was sort of an exam, a, example of how Dustin Rose could really take anything it's okay. and at least make it memorable. You heard it here first. Eamon found Tourette's hilarious. When I was like ten, I found it hilarious everyone, at my age. Too, everyone though. finds Tourette's hilarious at ten. Come Fuck on, you. I found Tourette's hilarious at like twenty six. So I find, I find Tourette's hilarious at thirty. Actually, I still there do. Go. There you go. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. That's my job. That's my job. Bobby, how about you? I'm gonna go with a a gimmick that Goldust had that uh, um it didn't really get get over, but it was kind of Goldust at his freakiest and scariest. Uh, the artist formerly known as Gold Dust. Wow, oh, not around. Yeah. You remember that? With oh, the neon when he was gold around, 
when and he was the, led around by Luna gag. with a dog, a dog collar. Oh God, I thought you were going to yeah, say yeah, seven body. dog uh, collar and ball no, gag. No, no, like the, the artist formerly known as Goldust was just freaky and just. Uh, but the good, the good part of Goldust, I remember, um, is with Booker T. All the stuff he did with Booker T. was hilarious. Um, and like, like uh, everybody said, pretty much the Dash and Cody Rhodes stuff was really good, and and the Road Scholar stuff that he just did with uh, Damien Sandow was awesome as well. And, and and of course Dusty, anything he did. There you go. So. Oh yeah. god, that is creepy. Yeah, there was nobody in Cody's <laughs> mustache. Cody's mustache. Oh. Wow. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm transfixed by the artist formerly known as stuff over here. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Wheels? Well, all right. See, I'm the old man of the group here, and I'm going to go for the old man first, Dusty. And one of the most favorite things about Dusty was uh, and it's because of commercial I keep hearing this song so often I think of the Midnight Rider and mm-hmm. I love that gimmick and it was just it's about as bad as Hogan's Mr. USA Mr. America? <laughs> but Mr. America yeah that's it <laughs> he was but, not uh, Mr. America he took a polygraph test and he passed he was not Mr. America <laughs> Okay, you are not the father. <laughs> but uh, Dusty, it, I mean, he, Dustin, he just looked I, like Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I honestly, I loved uh, Dustin's stuff with uh, the whole. Uh, what was I thinking? Holy crap! Uh, Dustin, da 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 da. The Tourette's was good. Uh, Hyper and him in. The Hollywood match was one of my favorites to watch. Oh, wow. Uh, the backlot brawl. Oh, yeah. Yes. With Roddy Piper. Yeah. I honestly that, didn't say the famous. So the, entertaining. The famous one, the Roddy Piper. Brawl, Me, I'm so a lesbian. Else would. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And Cody, well, anything with legacy and the whole porn stash later down the road <laughs> was good for him. Awesome. Uh, and. Uh, from hopefully oh, that is actually uh, pointed out. It was re- my mine was from WrestleMania six, six. nineteen ninety April first April Fools and yeah yeah and, and and Dusty and Sapphire beat oh Elizabeth came out that was the big the big mm. thing it was it was the first time you saw Elizabeth for I remember uh, for Black Rain Black Rain oh that's a low point mm. right there yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah didn't Black Rain have a rat named Terry. Yes. Yes, uh, did. Yeah. yeah. That's stupid rat. Wow. So, Seven. so go check that out. It, it, it hit us up on the Twitters on uh, at Mayhem Show on the uh, uh, Facebook group, um, as, as well as on Google Plus. So let us know your remember when hashtag remember when. What was your favorite dusty moment or or the Rhodes moment or low point? Like if you really want to get in the black rain, right? Did game wait for that? Too? Seven. 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 Yeah, that was the other one. Uh, so nope, you're fat. So I wanted to mention here, if you guys have it, you guys Seven like points. wrestling t-shirts, right? Oh, you mean, you mean like this one? Oh, like that one that Riz is wearing.